Hey guys, what is up? My name is Thomas Park and welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about how to troubleshoot VPNs. What to do when your VPN is not working. Now VPNs, just like any other software in the world, does have problems. But a lot of times it's actually a user error and not the problem of the VPN provider. That's because VPNs themselves are inherently a little bit tricky sometimes, especially for people who aren't familiar with troubleshooting on PC with networking issues overall. VPNs at the end of the day are involving your network on your computer, connecting to remote servers and so on. So sometimes there is problems with connecting and staying connected. So in this video, I'm gonna help you find um, solutions to those problems with around eight different steps you could try to fix your VPN and fix your internet with your VPN working. And we should be able to help you out here in this video. So let's go ahead and get into it. Another thing guys, if you do wanna help support the channel, check out some of the links and coupons down in the description down below. I've listed some of my favorite privacy products down there as well as discounts for them. And I think most of you guys will find those interesting. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, the first thing you should do if your VPN is not working is to just restart your computer. Of course, we always start off with the most simple solution and sometimes the most simple solution is the best solution. Lots of times VPNs require you to restart your computer just to get them working for some reason. Some actually force you to and some it just seems to work better if you restart your computer. Sometimes this can be enough to solve your problem. Step number two would be to uninstall every VPN on your computer and then reinstall the VPN you're trying to get work. Lots of times VPNs have different compatibility issues. Um, installing different um, tap adapters and stuff like that can cause problems. Um, I've noticed that some VPNs cause problems with other ones, other ones not so much. But at the end of the day, usually uninstalling every VPN and then reinstalling the VPN you want can usually fix your issue, um, whatever it is. It's usually some kind of tap driver issue. Another thing that I've found is that some VPNs um, don't have the capability to kind of repair the drivers as much as some other ones. For some reason, TorGuard VPN is really good at repairing drivers that are broken or not working. So I've even used TorGuard VPN to repair stuff like WireGuard adapters and stuff like that to actually get other VPNs working. So if you've already uninstalled every VPN and reinstalled the VPN you want and it still doesn't seem like it's connecting properly, try installing TorGuard um, and then you could just try to connect and they'll try to repair the adapters for you. Of course, this does require you to be um, have an active subscription to TorGuard and to be using it. And you might not necessarily have TorGuard if you're trying to get another VPN to be working. But in the, in the cases that you do, that could fix it. And TorGuard itself is really good good about being fixable and troubleshooted just because it does have that feature. Um, another thing you can try alongside that component is resetting the application to default. Some VPNs allow you to do this to just kind of refresh and reset the settings and that can sometimes fix the issues. So moving on into number five then, one thing you could try is to disable all the kill switches. Sometimes um, people will be enabling kill switches for the VPN and then when they're not using the VPN, they're like, hey, why isn't my internet working? That's because the kill switch is preventing you from connecting to the internet without the security of the VPN. Sounds kind of simple, sometimes it's easy to forget and it's something that could affect your internet. So just keep that in mind when you're trying to connect to a VPN and when you're not connecting and just keep that in mind. Number six is make sure you're using the latest version of the VPN client itself. This sounds like another obvious thing, but if you haven't connected or used the VPN in a while, you might want to check the website to try the newest version. Uninstall the current version you have, then reinstall the newest version, and that could sometimes fix some issues. Now, if none of those steps have worked so far, what you can do is actually reset the network adapters on your computer. Most of the time, this should always fix issues, especially if it's related to some kind of network adapter or something you've installed there. Resetting everything sometimes does fix the issue, and overall, it's just a good way to kind of get a clean slate in terms of your networking on your computer. And this has fixed a lot of issues for me, even not related to VPN, um, just related to that overall. Um, so definitely try that. Next up, if none of those things have worked so far, what you should try to do is search um, for your problem on the internet. You know, there might be a similar user with a problem on Reddit, a, a forum community from a VPN, or just some kind of help page from a VPN that can help you fix the specific problem that you have. When in doubt, always search it out. Lastly, guys, if none of these problems have been solved, or if you still have problems with your VPN, it could be time to switch VPNs. That's because some VPNs simply just work better. Like I said, TorGuard is very easy to troubleshoot, 
if there is a problem usually there is some way to fix it some other vpns do have bugs that can't be fixed on your end which is unfortunately um, so if you're looking for a reliable vpn that can always be fixed i would recommend a tier one option from the tier list vpntierlist.com anyways guys that's about it for my troubleshooting for vpns usually a combination of these factors or moving on down the list is always enough to solve all my problems when reviewing a vpn and if it can't be solved chances are it's on the vpns side of things and it's just worth uninstalling it or moving on anyways guys see you in the next video very soon